Hey guys, I decided that I would do another one of these little uh, walk and talk walks. Seen as last one was really positively received, and people said that they enjoyed the fact that it was so personal, which I didn't really understand. Um, but yeah, I got the show outside, and I didn't want to make a video. But uh, I had to record it for an hour and a half, and then by the time I'd finished recording, I was just like, my brain was frazzled, so I had a shower and decided to come for a walk, which is why I'm looking so fluffy. I, I'm so fluffy, I think I'm gonna die. Um, terrible, terrible quote. Anyway, this video is going to be really windy, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's nothing I can do about it, really. The wind is blowing. It happens. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do this video to talk about university, because when I'm looking back at myself in a few years, I want to be able to remember how I felt, what I was thinking at the time when I was preparing myself for university. And uh, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of a scary prospect. Where I'm going... To, where I'm going to go to university is at the other end of the country from where I live. Well, I sort of live in the middle, so it's as far away in England as I could probably get to a university. So it's uh, it's going to be different. I've lived with my mum my entire life, or well, with a mum or a, a, a step stepdad or something. You know, I've I've never been away from family really, apart from on like a school trip or something, and it doesn't really count. It's not going to be the same. I'm going to be living in my own accommodation that I'm responsible for. Um, I'm going to be responsible for myself. I'll be self-sufficient. Whoa, when they fall over there. I'm paying my own bills. And it's just going to be crazy, really. Let's see. Hang on. One second. So there's these things here, which are little shelters. Check this out. Yo. It's kind of dark in here. But yeah, there's a couple of these things. Well, I think this is a cricket bird. Garbage. Anyway, I'm going to be living on my own and caring for myself, and that is such a scary thought to me. And it's so exciting at the same time. Like, I can't wait to, to have this independence and control over my own life that I've never had before. And it is, I guess, I should probably stop looking at it as one big adventure and start thinking more about how I'm actually going to get by whilst I'm doing this. But it's su such a, a crazy thought to me that I just, I can't really, I, I can't wrap my head around it fully. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to walk and ramble about this and get personal, I guess. No, that sounds like I want to offend someone. You know what I mean anyway. So just over here, where I'm walking towards now, just over there, there's like a horse uh, running racing track type thing. So I'm going to try and find my way onto that and we can walk around in horse footsteps whilst I chat shit at you. How does that sound? Um, oh, but yeah, it's boggy. I hate bogs. Okay, that was unexpected. So yeah, I'm going to talk about university and what I want to do after university because it's not just about, oh, all this is so exciting. I have thought ahead a little bit and whilst I'm away at university, I do want to carry on with YouTube um, and streaming, of course, but I think, I think whilst YouTube will be feasible, I'm going to take my computer away with me and wherever I'm living, um, I think student accommodation should have some kind of internet. Um, if not, then I would pay for my own if I could afford it, which remains to be seen. But fingers crossed, I should be able to carry on YouTube regardless. I'm sure I'll have friends at uni that have internet that would allow me to um, edit, no, would allow me to upload what I've recorded at their house or something. I don't know. I'll work it out. It doesn't matter. It will be worked out. YouTube will continue to some extent. Streaming, I can't make any promises about though. Streaming is kind of one of those things you need to have some kind of fiber optic connection for. Um, plus, I, I guess I haven't really streamed much until when I first started and recently anyway. So, I don't know, streaming is something that I would like to carry on with. And YouTube, I said before I'd like to do it as a job. Check this out, this is where horses run every day or every few days. I don't know, it's just a horse racing track. It might be private property, I don't know. If someone shoots me then I guess you'll find out. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'd like to do YouTube and 
uh, carry on streaming whilst I'm at university. I'd like YouTube to become a job. Honestly, I know a lot of people say like, oh, I started out YouTube and never expected it, or never hoped it would become a job. It was just a hobby and this and that. But for me, I do it with the hope that someday I can do it as a job because I love recording videos. I love editing. I love uploading them and seeing how people react to it. And at the minute, you know, videos will get 20 views, maybe, maybe 30 views. The occasional video gets up over 50 views, which is absolutely mind blowing for me. Um, but, and then I get like five likes or something. I'm like, yeah, five likes, five likes is good. And if it goes above five likes, I'm like, that's better than average. That's excellent. Um, and I, I find this stuff really exciting. And it's not that, it's not that I've gone into this with the thought of YouTube will be my job. If I had thought that, then I would upload regularly. I'd have a schedule. I'd uh, make more of a concentrated effort to grow my channel. As it is, wow. Just look at that sky. Um, as it is, it's kind of just. I want it to be my job. I don't really mind too much if it's not my job. It's fun and I enjoy the numbers side of it and everything. I enjoy watching my sub count go up, even though it doesn't, like I said, I haven't put any effort, any concentrated effort into growing it. It's not that I haven't put effort in. And I don't know, it's just it's one of those really cool things that I really enjoy. And that's why I'd love to do it as a job. If I don't end up doing YouTube as a job and I don't be, I don't, I don't, I don't know, get partnered on Twitch or whatever. That Twitch is kind of secondary, even though I love live streaming. I have to consider the possibility that I won't be able to live stream at university. Um, so, if YouTube doesn't work out for me, then I think I'm probably going to work in a music studio. I'd like to be a sound engineer, and then um, after a few years of doing that, I'd like to progress to being a producer. And I'm studying music at university for a, a, a either two years or three years, I'm not quite sure yet, it depends on the grades that I got whilst I was at college. I think I should be doing it for two years and after that I will be qualified to work in music in some um, capacity, which I'm really looking forward to. So that, that's kind of my plan, if YouTube doesn't work out, work in the music industry. If I couldn't work in a studio then I'd probably want to work as a live sound engineer and what a live sound engineer does is they sort of they take care of a band's live performances, um, they make sure that the drums aren't louder than the guitars or the bass or anything like that. And they, it's just their job to make it sound good. It's a lot of responsibility but I know it would be a lot of fun and I would really get a kick out of doing that for a living. And um, I think that's it really, for as far as I, what I want to do. If I couldn't get a job in the music industry anyway, then I really don't know where I would want to take my life from that. I guess YouTube is my main aspiration and I have this to fall back on. I also wouldn't mind playing in a band, but again, that's like YouTube, that's kind of hit and miss as to whether or not it takes off, whether or not you can do it as a job, and so on and so forth. Wow, this horse track thing, I'm still walking along it by the way, is much longer than I thought. But I just want to say this to Syndicate, um, the Syndicate project, you've probably heard of him, like 10 million subscribers or something. to him, send it to him on Facebook, whatever. Let's see if he actually notices and realises that I have a better view than he does. Let's see if we can make him jealous. He would never be jealous of me. Anyway, I, it's kind of getting dark a bit now. I'm not sure how well my face is showing up on the camera. So I'm going to end this vlog up very shortly. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that I really want to say. I guess uh, with YouTube, I don't know what I want to do. Honestly, I don't want to specialise in anything on YouTube. I don't want to be known as a gaming YouTuber or a, a social commentary YouTuber or a vlogger or anything in particular. I just want to be able to do everything and whatever I want to do. 
but at the same time I realise that that's kind of difficult because YouTubers don't tend to have um, a broad range of fields that they cover they tend to be stuck within their own niche and when people try to branch out into other things a lot of the time you just see their channel completely die off and I, I really don't want that to happen that would be awful for me so I guess I don't know what I want to do but I know at some point I'm gonna to have to choose or maybe just start a second channel like I don't know I really enjoy doing this though this this walking and talking with this bright neon yellow selfie stick I look like an absolute gimp not only do I have fluffy hair but anyone who sees me walking around right now would just think there's some moron on the horse track with a bright yellow selfie stick talking to his phone and oh it goes off down there I reckon we should explore down there in another vlog absolutely um, maybe on a nice day I'll just set off wandering to take you guys with me and I think that's it for this vlog though I've said everything I want to say um, I've talked about the future and what I'm worried about and what I want to do um, and hopefully it all works out you know hopefully I'll just look back on this when I graduate university and be proud of myself and proud of what I've done and achieved and how much I still have to achieve and I think when I look back on this because I guarantee I will look back on this I'm not just I don't know I don't know what I was gonna say there I completely lost my train of thought I will look back on this someday and I hope that I am someone that I can be I hope I become someone that I can be proud of um, in terms of growing in confidence and uh, just I guess ability to express myself because I can't think how to word what I'm trying to say here and I know this has been kind of well this has been a really long video and I wouldn't be surprised if many people don't get to the end of it but I felt like there were things that I just wanted to say and it's, it's mostly been said and no doubt if it hasn't been said it'll be said in another video so I just want to say thank you guys for watching uh, if you've got this far don't forget to leave a like subscribe for more vlogs more gaming videos I'm sure I'll put up at least one every three months or something like that because that's my upload schedule so far and uh, if you have enjoyed this video then please do me a massive favor and share this with your friends um, I would love to have more people on my channel uh, I'm just rambling now so yeah uh, bleh, words leave a like comment subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video Okay, so it started to rain, but just if I go all together, what is this creepy building? Oh. Although, it's um, pretty sure it's like a place where they keep the horses um, like tied up during the day before they come and walk them all around the track. Wait, I just thought I'd show you that. Look at that skyline. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thanks again for watching, guys. Goodbye. Yo, someone's barking for mad sex right now.